The Fuji Instax Mini Evo is an absolutely fantastic shitty camera. It's this fella right here, and I'm going to tell you all about it. Now, a lot of people might say that I have a camera problem. I think a problem is when you can't stop. All I'm saying is that I just keep buying huge numbers of incredibly terrible cameras like this thing here, the uh, Canon EOS M, which never found a scene that it wouldn't spend a minute hunting through before getting an absolutely terrible result in the end. Of course, I've got Holger, got some film in it. Another shitty camera. Another shitty camera. There's only 10 exposures through on it. I can stop anytime I want. It's just that I don't want to stop. But like I said, what I wanted to talk to you today is the Fuji Instax Mini Evo, which kind of sounds like it should be the name of a motorbike. It kind of looks nice. It uh, gets a lot of compliments, but it's really cheap and incredibly shitty. Now, shitty cameras are fantastic as far as I'm concerned. You spend way too much time worrying about shutter speeds, f-stops, all that kind of crap. And we kind of forget to just go out and have fun taking photographs. So I've got myself in this ridiculous situation where I've got good cameras, shitting cameras, I've got a couple of flying cameras, and most of the time I end up taking photographs on my phone. But in the end, I hardly ever take photos on that anymore. I don't know. It just feels like they're just going to go into the cloud and uh, not do anything. So I kind of wanted to get myself something that I was going to take and uh, be able to use and just kind of have people know that those photographs weren't necessarily going to end up on social media somewhere. Into, into the frame, this thing, um, which I absolutely adore, right? So it uses the Fuji Instax film, the kind of fake Polaroid film. Um, it has a terrible little CMOS sensor. It creates these kind of terrible digital photographs. What does it shoot onto here? It shoots out of a nominal F2 and uh, goes onto like a five point something uh, megapixel CMOS sensor. And you can kind of twiddle this guy around here, you twiddle that around, and that changes the nominal lenses. And if you kind of flip this one here around, it kind of changes the color cast of the whole thing. So all you really need to do is you turn it on, um, fire it up. Uh, you'll probably be able to see something of here looking at me at the moment. Let's do it like this. Hold it up like that. Oh, I'd take a photo of myself. So hold it up like that. Get a photo of me. I can just get this, crank this little handle. Check it out. This is going to be very exciting for you to watch this because I assume it's going to be like watching paint dry. So then it uh, gets itself. Oh, so the camera's going crazy, not knowing what face to focus on. And there it goes, 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 there it goes. There it comes. Now I've got a Polaroid of me, which is going to develop in a couple of seconds. Um, can't shake it, can't hurry. What it is, is absolutely fantastic, right? Because then at the end of any time that you've gone out, you've got a bunch of little prints. So that's great. You can give them to the people you take photos of. That's great. You can take them home. Awesome. But because it's digital, you can decide to print as many of them as you want, right? So you've shot it onto the uh, internal memory here, sticks around there, and then you can just print as many of them of, as you feel like. The other cool thing about it is, of course, it's got an app. And the app lets you take photographs from your phone and using the app, send them to the printer on this fella. So you can use your phone to go out and take any photographs or even a proper camera and then transfer them to your phone and then just shoot out these tiny little um, ever so slowly developing prints. And then that's it. You've got a camera that does all the things that you want. It takes terrible photographs. I don't know what kind of lens it has, but it's not great. You can do a whole bunch of adjustments on it. You can pretend to change the film and do light leaks and a whole range of things like that. But then you get some prints and you can do with them, you know, whatever you want. Throw them in. I don't give a fuck. One weird thing about it being this kind of hybrid, analog looking, kind of does a little bit of digital stuff kind of camera is that it does actually record the photographs onto its internal memory. So you would think that those digital shots you'd be able to get off, right? So you'd be, think, oh, I've been out tonight, taking a whole bunch of photographs. I can print as many as I want. So obviously I can get all those photographs, I'll take them into Lightroom like some kind of complete wanker. 
Um, but turns out that's kind of hard. Uh, it comes with a USB cable, but that only does charging. So you plug your, your little doodad into your USB doodad in its chargy hole, wherever its little chargy hole is. I think it's chargy holes in the bottom there somewhere. Oops, crikey. But you can't get the images off it. However, however, what you can do is you can open up this little bum flap in it. Come on, little bum flap. You can open up a little bum flap, and in there you can stick... A, uh, a micro SD card. And if you stick a micro SD card in there, then all of a sudden it records all of the digital shots that are on this to that micro SD card, which then you can open up as a little bum flap again, take the micro SD card out and put it in a card reader, and then you can actually get the digital prints off. So all the photographs that you told people were just going to be prints, uh, you can be a sneaky bastard and actually save them and put them into Lightroom like the absolute wanker that we all probably are. So that's it, the Fuji Instax Mini Evo. Uh, I think it's a great camera. It's obviously terrible. The photographs aren't great. Uh, the sensor isn't very good. The printer isn't fantastic. It feels a bit chintzy. It looks really pretty. But all that put together just turns it into this absolutely adorable shitty camera. And if you like shitty cameras anywhere near as much as I do, you need to get one of these into your collection.